Greetings everyone, my name is Forex Joe. Welcome to Wealth Creation Investing. And in this video training, we're going to be talking about our trade plan alerts for Friday evening, February the 22nd, 2013. That is trade plan number 1995. It is the close of the markets and how to read and understand this report. And as I put up this disclaimer, we have disclaimers all across Wealth Creation Investing Forex. Make sure you read these disclaimers. But at the close of the markets, we take a look at 22 currency pairs, and in the process, we gather up data, and then when we have that data, we turn around and put this all together so you, as a trader, can be fully prepared, no matter what trading style that you utilize, going into the opening of the markets on Sunday. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you have been coming to Wealth Creation Investing in these free videos, or you're taking a look at this training video, you know that we like to show the gears. Now, I come from a background of wanting to get multiple high set of pips. I'm looking for hundreds of pips in the process. Everything that I do starts with this daily chart. I look at the previous 24 hours and I'm trying to go left to right from a daily, weekly, and monthly. So when you hear me talk about two out of three or three out of three channels that match up with my mathematical, statistical, and analysis concepts that I've created, that is the daily chart, the weekly chart, and the monthly chart. We call them two out of three or three out of three channels. They are deadly in the Forex markets. In fact, I'm getting ready to release a new set of numbers that are even going to be even stronger. Those of you that are day traders or scalpers, you see this 15-minute chart just a huffing and a puffing. But a 15-minute chart has to roll in, in this multiple time frame analysis, into a 30-minute, into a one-hour, into a four-hour daily, weekly, and monthly scenario. So as you see these gears, this gives you an opportunity to understand how these multiple time frames go into and follow into different time frames as a trader. As you continue your journey in the Forex markets, you're going to have light bulb moments. These light bulb moments will happen at various times during your journey. It doesn't matter if you're brand new to the Forex, if you didn't know what the acronym FX meant, which is foreign exchange, or if you've been trading for three or four years and you have an attachment to money because you keep taking one step forward and two steps back. I've been doing this for 12 years and I continue to have light bulb moments. That's why it keeps my attention. I love the fact that I can trade money for money and if there's a currency that is weakening, I can move my money immediately. And folks, with what's getting ready to happen here in 2013 and beyond, that puts you in an excellent position to protect your bankroll. Now we're going to talk about Trade Plan Alert 1995. It is from Friday evening. What started as a weekly report back in 2005 has evolved into a daily detailed trade plan alert and analysis of the Forex markets. Experience is attained during anything 2,000 times. This landmark event proves outside of the box methods that I have in, uh, processed have withstood the test of time. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll talk about top pairs to watch, experienced trades to monitor, covers all trading styles, buys and sells each session with the take profit areas, and rules of engagement once you start getting involved with these trade plan reports. So without much further ado, I'd like to get started and let's take a look at trade plan alert number 1995. As we take a look at trade plan alert for Friday evening. This was February the 22nd. It's trade plan number 1995. Of course, this is at the close of the markets on Friday. In each one of our reports, I like to show what's happening in the Dow, Oil, Gold, and Dollar Index for our experienced traders so they can see how that's a direct correlation to possible opportunities in the markets with the currency pair that they're stocking, usually the Euro US dollar. We then show how many of the 22 pairs that we cover moved 100 plus overall pips during the last 24-hour session. Now remember, our 24-hour session begins at 4 o'clock Central, Chicago, Dallas time, 5 o'clock Eastern, New York time. I gather the information, I take a look at it, and then we put the reports up for the opening of the Asian session, and those reports are generated with trade plan analysis and potential trades. So at the close of the markets on Friday, we had 10 of the 22 pairs that moved 100 plus overall pips. The range of the top seven pairs, this is the four majors along with the Aussie dollar, the US Canadian, and the New Zealand Kiwi, 
was 105 pips for the Aussie dollar. The low was 46 pips at the U.S. Swissy. Now, in our daily report, which covers 22 pairs, which gives you potential trades, and these potential trades are computer generated that I put together. You have a potential buy and sell. You can see this chart at the bottom of the daily report if you want to review that chart on a daily basis. Then we usually have analysis for me that includes from the desk of Forex Joe, along with current market analysis where we begin the process of explaining what's happening. Now, if you want to take a look at this, you can stop this video and read this, but the highlights of it is that these reports include trade plans for the opening of the markets on Sunday evening when I release the next report on Sunday afternoon. So this is at the close of the markets on Friday, what's happened for the entire week, and then we have another report that comes out before the opening of the markets. Now this in itself is extraordinary because I cover all trading styles. It, we're not limited to just one trading style. We talk about scalping, day trading, swing and position. Now I'm a swing position, and it's my belief that long term, long term, that if you want to make this a career, there is less stress and more ability to scale in and out of trades and have continuation trades learning how to swing a position but that's for another video you've heard me talk about two out of three and three out of three channels all you have to do is close your eyes go back to the gears if you take a look at the gears if you close your eyes you're looking at the daily weekly and monthly charts I have proprietary numbers that I've spent years on that shows the strength of these areas of two out of three and three out of three channels. Then we have the rest of the story, experienced swing position traders and currencies to monitor. I spent several years on these detailed studies of the numbers in the Forex markets using the daily, weekly, and monthly charts. I call them the three big dogs to maximize pip moves, ladies and gentlemen. As we move this forward, we talk about that everything should be accomplished in a practice regiment demo account we have a link on our website that will allow you, it's free, to download a practice regiment demo account to where you can execute these trades in practice. Now some of you are not swing position traders yet. So whenever you get our trade plan alerts, anytime that you just want to uh, scalp or day trade, please take a look at the trades that are in bold in the daily write-ups. If they're in bold in the daily write-ups, they are for scalpers and day traders. I label them, but I also put them in bold. Now, these below numbers that we're going to talk about were generated at the close of the markets on Friday, February the 22nd. This is a wonderful training exercise for people that want to learn how to become swing position traders. We ask that you use logic and common sense in reviewing what could possibly begin you on a journey to find out what's hidden in plain sight, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, we're going to take a look at our first pair. Let me kind of explain this. First and foremost, we have the Euro US dollar. This is at the Friday close, February the 22nd. The close was at 3181. We're going to go out and take a look at the closest two out of three or three out of three channel for you to do battle at if you're a swing position trader. In this instance, 3184. We're within three pips. No, you can't make this stuff up. It happens all the time. We're within three pips of a strong area where you're going to do battle. Now, I'm going to look for this to kind of bounce up because of the previous move. You see, last week, we closed at 33.53. We dropped all the way down to 31.81. That's kind of a significant drop for a week. Early in the week, I'm going to look for a bounce back up, and then I'm going to look to sell the rallies. And if I sell the rallies, the overall trend is down because the previous two weeks, as you can see, we oscillated. We closed two weeks ago at 33.64. Last week, we closed at 33.53. And then at Friday, we finally had to move, and it moved down to 31.81. Now, why is this of huge significance? Because for the previous two weeks, we were doing battle around the 33.29 area, which is a strong area. In fact, if you are a currency uh, swing position trader, you're looking for the next sequence of three out of three channels from 3329, and that's at 3072. We will retest 3072 this week. I'll go ahead and go out on a limb. We will retest 3072. Well, from 3329, ladies and gentlemen, to 3072, you're looking at a 250 pip move. 
Now, you need to get excited because if you get an entry at 3329 or the 3300 area, or if you get an entry at 3184 and it goes to 3072, all of a sudden you have continuation or scaling back in trades to where you're monitoring those trades. You don't have to trade every day. So it's kind of like managing the trades and looking for specific areas when you catch trending pairs to go up or down to get in at these certain areas. We will guide you at what these areas are. We are allowing you to take a look over my shoulder and you will know in advance where to get in at these areas if you desire to become a swing position trader. Now there's going to be different rules of engagements if you're a swing position trader than if you're a scalper or day trader. Those seeking to become full-time traders must do the price action exercise each week. So if you want to become a full-time trader, you must do the price action exercise weekly. We have that in other videos. You should be copying and pasting the previous close of market reports to gauge movement in the markets and preparing for the opening of the markets every Sunday. What I have done is I've done this work for you in this report. I showed what the close of the market was on Friday, the last week, and two weeks ago. Now, ladies and gentlemen, in the process, okay, you need to go back and copy and paste, and you can start to see reoccurring trends. Now, isn't this interesting? There was three straight red sessions to close this week, three straight red sessions to close this week, and three straight red sessions to close this week. Then, we give you, besides the channels, we give you what the last five sessions was. So if we take a look at the last five sessions for this previous week, we moved 289 pips. The previous week, we moved 212 pips. And the previous week, we moved 306 pips. So we had a from a 212 pip range to a 306 pip range the last three weeks. We've moved from 3364 down to 3181. And again, recapping my analysis, I believe that at the first of the week, this pair will move back up above 3200. It'll probably go back and retest the 3278 area. There'll be another opportunity to sell it, and then when you sell it, we are going to go down and retest 3072. 3072 in this estimation. Now, Euro traders are cautious because we have an Italy's election on February 24 through 26. This is something that you need to take a look at, and this is something that you need to review as far as getting information of wh what happened in this election that might move this pair up and give it an, us an opportunity for it to retest. But as you get this information daily, you get it and you have it plenty of time. If you can spend 30 minutes a day or 30 minutes before the market's open, you follow the euro US dollar and you pick one currency pair that you're stocking. With the currency pair that you're stocking, and some of you have become full-time traders and you might stock eight, nine, ten pairs. It's going to take you a little bit longer. It might take you 90 minutes. But at the bare minimum, each one of you can spend 30 minutes over the weekend and review this material for the Euro, US dollar and the currency pair that you're stocking. You're now knowing because the next area that we put is the range for the swing position traders. So this week we have 33.29. We have 3184, which is right here within three pips, and we have 3072. If we break out this week and say that we have a huge moving pair for the week, we're going to look to close above 3329 after a 24 hour session, or we're going to look to close below 3072, ladies and gentlemen, at the end of a 24 hour period. If not, it will oscillate in this area, and we will await to do. Uh, at the end of the week and await for the results and then begin the process all over. So as swing position traders, you know exactly. And to update this, if you get the trade plan alerts on Sunday, you have specific areas along with this report at the end of the week. It, it is wonderful exercise for those of you that are wanting to become full-time traders. So in closing, let's cover this one more time. You have the Friday close from February the 22nd on the Euro-US dollar. When it closed, it was at 3181. 
We look for the closest two out of three or three out of three channels. In this instance, it's 3184 or three pips away. It's a strong area. We give you the last five sessions, which covers the entire week. The pair had a low of 3144. It had a high of 3433. It moved 289 pips. It's went three straight red sessions. Now, if you take a look at the daily report, and you take a look at the trend report that's in the daily report for each one of the currency pairs, you're going to see blue or red, and in some instances brown, color-coded. You can read that material, but the Reader's Digest version is that if a currency pair closes below the previous 24-hour close, it is a red session because it moved below. If it closes above the previous 24-hour session, then it is a blue session. And what we're looking for by giving you this information is pairs that might be trending and getting ready to have breakouts around certain areas. And you would be amazed at how simple this process allows you an opportunity to visually see as retail traders and get an idea and have even more tools in your toolbox. It's amazing. You see, most people try to overemphasize the Forex markets, and it's all about numbers. It scares the bejeebers out of most people to participate, and we try to take the fear out by keeping it simple and following the process. Okay, let's go ahead and now talk about the pound dollar. The pound dollar on a Friday close closed at 52.49. We had a two out of three channels at 54.34. That's a strong area. The last five sessions, it moved 376 pips. Four of the last five sessions have been red. Now, this pair has had a plethora of pips for clients. We have ridden it down from 6044. In fact, with everything that's happening, there is an aberration between the euro US dollar and the pound dollar. This continues, as these pairs should be moving in tandem. They should be going in the same direction. Why? Because the U.S. dollar is on the right side of the current of the trading pair, and you have the pound dollar and the euro dollar on the left side. So the U.S. dollar and the pound dollar should be moving in the same direction. For the month of January, they were inverse, and it continues for February. This is very outside the box and inconsistent. Ladies and gentlemen, this pair is going to go down and test 150. Now, again, I will look for the opening of the markets to see what happens and get a good idea of what this currency pair is doing. And then once the currency pair gets ready to start moving, I will keep in mind that this currency pair is going inverse against the euro US dollar, but I will continue because we have several positions or called scaling back in or continuation trades from 160.44. So this is a, an area that we will continue to monitor strongly here for this week. Okay, let's take a look at a couple of currency pairs that we have been riding, especially we've been riding the US Yen since December along with the Yen crosses. In fact, we've given you detailed analysis of the US Yen plus the Pound Yen, the Aussie Yen, and the Euro Yen here for the past few months for those of you that have been watching currency pairs move over a thousand pips. You've been able to pick up a tremendous amount of pips. In fact, we have ridden the US yen from 79.50, 80 area, scaling back in at 82, 84, 11, 86, 88, 90, and 91, 92. This currency pair closed at 93.42 on Friday, and we're going to retest 94.09. In fact, there's been a lot of people that's tried to say that this pair is going to reverse because we had a, in the last couple of weeks, as you can see, we closed at 92.74. It went back to 93.40 and 93.42. So when you take a look at the last week, two weeks, we've only closed within two pips. That's an oscillator. And we'd moved up from the 92.74, which isn't really that great of a move, especially when it's been coming from 79.50 uh, and 80 area. But like anything else, Currency pairs can't just continue to go up and move massive amounts. There has to be some oscillating. There has to be some consolidation. Compare it to you're running your first marathon, and all of a sudden you can't take it anymore, and you have to stop for a Gatorade break. So what we're seeing now is just a little bit of a slowdown before the USN continues, and I've been talking about this for at least four months, that the USN is eventually going to see parity, which is 
100. So we're going to look for this USEN to go above 9409. And if you're a current client, you know what the next number is in the sequence. If you're not a current client, I would, and you are trading Forex or wanting to trade Forex, I wouldn't be trading Forex unless you got involved with us so you can be fully prepared to be able to pick up positive pips with less risk, no emotion, no fear, no self-doubt, because our we take everything out of the equation and allow you the opportunity to prosper. So as we take a look, this pair only moved 144 pips last week. The previous two weeks, it moved 223 pips and 205 pips. Uh, I had an analysis of buying the dips below 93. Anytime this pair goes below 93 and comes back up, then you should be purchasing it. But we're going to retest the 9409 area sometime this week. I think very quickly, and I think we're going to close uh, above 9409, and this will be something of substance that each one of you need to take into consideration. Now, remember, I'm recording this uh, actually uh, overnight Saturday, early Sunday morning, about 4 a.m., and you need to take this into consideration that the markets are getting ready to open, and when the markets open, we'll see what takes place. But all indicators suggest that this pair is going to continue up. Once again with the U.S. CAD, we've ridden the U.S. CAD from where it was below $1 or parity, and we've given you the analysis. But what's interesting about the U.S. CAD is it's become the new U.S. yen of six months ago. It has not been moving a lot of pips. So those of you that do not want much volatility and want to learn with a pair uh, that's easy to learn with, you might want to start looking at the U.S. CAD. Now we closed above 0188, and that was the number we released the past few weeks. As the Canadian continues to weaken, uh, we'll look for the Canadian to, to close above 0200 this week as it continues its journey upwards. So those of you that have positions below a dollar, add a dollar at a dollar zero uh, eighty eight at uh, one oh one, and now one eighty eight will continue to take a look at opportunities above. 0200 as we head towards 0300. Now remember this pair is a slow mover. It's had zero 100 pip overall moves in the last 20 sessions. And if you take a look at the daily report that's extended even more. I only went back for the trend report the last 20 sessions but it's been I think it's been something like 27 sessions. So when you get a pair that's only moved 100 plus pips and hasn't moved 100 plus pips, excuse me, in 20 sessions, this gives you ample opportunity as scalpers and day traders to use our numbers that are very strong and collect pips. If you're trading this pair, it also does not have must risk volatility if you get in looking for the push up from $1 to the current 1028. That's 200 pips, folks, since it's hit $1. This is the benefits of getting the trade alerts. So as you can see, we have movement in the euro US dollar, the pound dollar is doing great, the US yen, the US CAD. Uh, we've had the Aussie dollar that slowed down, but it's had movement of late. We've had the yen crosses, the pound yen, the Aussie yen, the euro yen. It's generated a tremendous amount of pips. There is great opportunity in a $4.7 trillion a day market, the most liquid market on earth today, for those of you that want to give quality of attention participation. I would encourage that. Well, we've been here long enough in this training session. In fact, it's went a little bit overboard. Uh, but I think we have something of substance here that will allow you the opportunity to watch this video several times. Well, hopefully, we went kind of quick, but we didn't hurry. But you have an opportunity to take a look at this video if you are a current member, because we'll have it in the members area. So I encourage each and every one of you to review this video several times. There's no better feeling than having a detailed plan going into the markets for Sunday evening with an opening, ladies and gentlemen, and knowing the ranges and where you want to participate, and then using our trade plan alerts as another layer for entries. I want to thank you for taking time to attend this video training webinar. My name is Forex Joe. Until next time, may all the pips be with you.